All right, well, I'm sure you remember this kid. I'm sure you remember this spot. <laughs> but uh, it's been pretty cold lately, pretty wet. I didn't want to do another salamander video. Um, so we're going to see if we can turn up a milk snake real quick just at this roadside spot. And then it's possible that tomorrow or in the near future we uh, do some more ambitious snake hunting because we have a day off from school. Not great weather, but, uh, you know. So typically, as you saw in the last video, they kind of stack up under these rocks here. All right, Matt got the first snake. Nice little garter. It was hanging out under a rock. Cool. I'm gonna let him go. Tiny little milk under that rock. I got a phone picture of the uh, in situ there, but uh, he started moving before I could get footage of him. Oh, that's nice. Hell yeah. It is cool how many spots the Vermont milks have. That is a nice snake. Very cool, dude. We're gonna get a look at this guy in some sunlight. Nice. The lighting is super, super harsh right now, but... I hope you guys can see how nice this little guy is. Super cool. Yeah, it is uh, pretty late in the evening, so, you know. Lighting does not really do it right now. But there, there's his stomach, that's cool. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and uh, keep looking. All right, letting this guy go. Yeah, he'll do his thing. <laughs> See ya, buddy. All right, next snake. There's another little garter snake. Looks like this one's actually in shed. I'm gonna pull it out real quick so that we can put the rock back down for him. Right. Just put him right over here. Put his rock back. And, oh yeah, he knows where he's going. Right back towards his rock. Just slide blue in the bin. All right, we just flipped that garter right there and then right behind me on the crawl another one. Bang, bang. Put him back at it. All right, this is usually the good spot, so I'm gonna film as we flip. Nope. Oh, there's a little garter. Nice. Gently put this back down. This one historically is very good. Not today. We didn't get one right near. It's way too in the ground. Another garter. He scattered. You guessed it. Another garter. Put you over here. 
It's very sluggish. You okay, buddy? Yeah, he's just cold. All right, bud. Just flipped a little red eft. Lighting is terrible out, so I'm going to let this guy go. All right, guys, so, uh, <laughs> all right, guys, so I am out today. Uh, I didn't close off the last segment when we found that little milk snake. We didn't really find much else that was super interesting, and uh, I've got a power line cut over here. I've been around here before. I know someone that uh, stumbled upon a milk snake here, just a friend of mine that was out for a hike. Um, so I figured I'd give it a try and flip some rocks. There could be green snakes here as well. Um, but check this out, this doesn't look great. I'm gonna see if I can find some bug spray because this is bad. I don't know if I've ever seen gnats this bad. Like, just look at this. Jesus. It's a good looking rock pile here. We've got rushing water over that way, so. And there you go. Nice little garter snake. Move this rock. You guys get a closer look at this guy. And uh, I'm gonna move him out of the way so I can put the rock back. All right, this is prime looking. Come on. Wow, nothing. All right, I've switched locations to somewhere that looks really promising. It's got a whole lot of stone foundations and uh, piles of rock and things like this. Uh, so hopefully we can get a milk snake here. All right. Well, found a spot with some water, and appropriately, here is a water snake. Northern water snake. This one has a pretty nice belly. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. Here's a better look at this water snake. As you can see, these guys are pretty common further down south, but I think up here in Vermont, they're a species of special concern. Let's see, this one has pretty nice red on the stomach. Especially down low but yeah we're gonna uh, let this guy go and keep looking all right let this guy go back over here in the grass oh They can do whatever they want. Just... Uh, it's later in the evening, I went and picked up Matt, and uh, we are at a spot with a lot of rocks along a body of water, and uh, we're looking for green snakes, that's the hope. So uh, I'm gonna flip some rocks and see what happens. It's nice and cooled down now. But like, they feel warm too. Dude, nice. It's a shed. Yeah, but it's a green snake. Dude, I was just starting to lose hope. Jesus. Already, you said what? these were some nice ones. Well, this one would be nice. That's about typical for the size. Yeah, that's a, that's a good looking one. It's just in shed. Hell 
Oh yeah. He's under that one? Yeah. Very nice. We're gonna get a closer look at this guy. Hold up, that's a, that's a green snake shed, I, I think, dude. That's from a big adult. Man, Matt's about <laughs> to photograph this guy. This camera just steamrolled. Honestly, I, I'm gonna, I might keep this shed. It's fully intact. That's so rare for green snakes. Very cool, I'm gonna see if I can pull this out. Yeah, check this out. Big long shed. Smooth green. Very cool. Give him the cloud of gnats and the uh, <laughs> incooperativeness of this snake. I think Matt's not gonna have fun with this one. I'm not taking pictures just because it's a. Uh, oh, buddy! It's in shed, and I have pictures of green snakes. But here, you know what? I'm gonna try to pose oh, it for you. More. Yeah, it's pretty long. I'm um, hoping we find another. Pretty cool. All right, so uh, we're heading back. We only saw that one green snake and a couple small garter snakes, um, but we did find a big green snake shed, and uh, it looked like pretty prime habitat from what I've experienced, so I'm excited to go back to that spot early in the morning, uh, maybe after a little rain or something like that, um, see if I can turn up some more. But uh, we're heading back. Uh, it's final season right now, so we have a lot of work to do, um, but Thanks for watching. Uh, more videos coming soon when I get back down in New Jersey and uh, further south. And uh, stick around for the next one.